I'd like to start doing some manipulation of strings. Um, so the first thing I obviously need is the string library. And uh, we haven't talked about this before, but strings are actually these things called objects, which means that in this library, um, there's this class defined called strings. And what that means is there's data. So like the letters that comprise the string um, would be the data. And there's also methods or functions that are built in. So every time you declare a string, you're actually initializing um, and instantiating an object of the string class. And you haven't actually used this before, but there's all these functions that you automatically get access to. So if I go down in my main here and declare a string, and I'm going to um, call it S for shortness, I'm going to put the word some text in this string. Um, I actually automatically have access to some functions, but before we get to that, um, every string has uh, several letters stuck together in it. And if you were to lay these letters from left to right um, and start numbering them from left to right also, each letter and actually anything that's in it, so numbers, uh, weird punctuation, spaces, etc., they have numbered values for each position um, that represent what index we're at. So we always start our numbering and programming at zero. So my S would be at position zero, my O would be at position one, my M would be at position two. And um, that's important to keep in mind as we're working with these different string functions. So the first one I wanted to show you is length. Um, length is a function that will retrieve for you the length of the string. Um, it doesn't let you change the length. It just retrieves a value um, that holds that length in it. So if I wanted to ask C++ to tell me how long the string was, I could build myself a little C out statement um, that says S dot length. And this is a function, so I need to make it look like a function call. Um, and when I run this guy, it will retrieve the length of this string for me. So let me verify that that works. Okay. And so it's telling me the answer is 9. Let's just verify that's correct. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 total characters in this string. Um, You'll notice that over here, my numbering goes from zero to eight because the zero counts as one of them. This whole thing is nine characters long, even though the highest index value is eight.